free high five. Even some heal Mary's finger in the name of Jesus Christ. All over the world. Thank you. You heal. Pain gone in the name of Jesus. Right now. Try it now. It's tingly. It's tingly? Yeah. It, it, it feels a little better? Alright, check this out. Let's let's go the rest of the way. Because mm -hmm. we've seen way. crazy you stuff. Try it so this is nothing. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Ready? And just in the name of Jesus Christ. That's pretty powerful, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little numb, but it's yeah. not bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay, is it 100% though, or? Um, Still a little bit? Still feels a little numb, but there's okay. a lot of swelling there. So. Okay, here, check this out. Father, we just command the swelling to go down right now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for no more pain. I thank you for the break being restored, for all pain going. Thank you for amazing love, amazing grace in Jesus' name. All right, check it out. should be... Okay, so I'm so hard to tell with a bad aid on. Still tingling a little bit? A little bit, but it's better. So it's better? What was your name again? Sandra. So, uh, so Lord, oh, yes, Lord. Lord, right now we just command Lord, all this pain to go right now out of Sandra's body. We command her back to be made whole right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that you love her, God. Lord, I pray for uh, your yes, great Lord. love right now to recreate her back, Lord. Holy Spirit, we just invite you right now to recreate that back. Bring it back to the way you designed it to be, God. We break off every spirit of infirmity. Break off every spirit of pain. Break off every tormenting spirit, since you'll always be this way. All the hopelessness of this injury, all the trauma of these injuries, we break it off right now. God, we command your peace into her back right now. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, man. How does it feel? It, it, it's fine. It feels oh. better? Yeah, I don't, I'm not feeling it now. It's weird, though, because I, uh, my prayers are from my house to the bus stop every day. And so it's like I always pray that, you know, that, you know, uh, I will feel his, you know, his presence because he's the one and true God. And, you know, and I just... Every day I say that, you know, because it, it's just like it's so easy to forget. Yeah. Because yeah. of the, the, yeah, the world makes you, you know, yeah. yeah. And you get busy, and you know, so you guys are absolutely lovely. Lovely. So lovely. Here, here, bend over real quick. Yeah, just kind of, I want to make, make sure this is good. You know, God feels your pain. Oh, yeah. How's it feeling right now? 100%? I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'll tell you on the way there. Because okay. right. <laughs> walking really. So the Lord was showing me, uh, um, like, uh, do you feel like you're kind of like boxed in in your life? Every now and like then. you get like walls. Like I saw like walls, like you're thinking, where you're just like, man, like you're just trying to get over certain I have, things. I'm in college right now, so I'm beyond stressed. <laughs> yeah. So you can I pray that all that is broken away and you'd have peace? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> So, God, we just break off all that stress right now, all anxiety right now in Jesus' name. But we thank you for Addison, God. We thank you that she's amazing, Lord, that you have given her a mind, Lord. So we come against all that stuff that has tried to try to keep her in some kind of state of confusion or, or boxed in and not, not, not able to spread out. So, Lord, we thank you right now for peace. Fill her with peace. Thank you, Father, for more of that, Lord. More Lord. We apply the power of the blood of Jesus in us. Ah, okay. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Try it. Try it out, dude. What?
Jesus. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Yeah. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. Love you, man. Appreciate it. Keep thanking Jesus for that one. Man. I, I will. Thanks, yeah. God. God. Uh, I'm wondering about like certain things of, of where to go. And, you know, and, and I, God, see, God wants to give you peace. So that way you'll, you'll, you'll make the right decision. Because we make wrong decisions when we're not in peace. But when we have the peace of God in us, it surpasses all understanding. Is what the Bible says. And, it says and, and, and from that place of peace, we are able to know where we're going to go. So, uh, so I'm just going to pray that that goes away and you can fill up with peace, all right? So God, I thank you for Daniela. And right now we just break off anxiety and fear about what to do and where to go and about her destiny, Lord. And we just thank you right now for peace. Holy Spirit, I pray you bring peace to her heart right now. In Jesus' name, we just declare the blood of Jesus over her right now. We thank you for her, God. We thank you for your daughter today, God. And I see that the Father wants to reveal himself to you, you know, so that you'll know him as daddy. You know what I'm saying? He's not just some far off God, but that's like, that's my dad. My dad in heaven. You know what I mean? Because you got parents that are, are, are Christian times. Free healing. And they pray for you. So, so they, they might not have it all figured out, you know. But, but, but when, you, when you connect with God as a, as a little girl to her daddy, I'm telling you, that's the simplicity of it. That's what God wants to do. That's how He wants to commune with you. Free healing. So, I, also, I also see, I see that you have like anything, like uh, love anointing. Like you just, you just naturally love people. You get along with like everyone, don't you? Yeah. And yeah, seeing that, like I see it in your eyes, like yeah, people are drawn. They can trust you. Um, you know, they're, they're just like, wow. You know, like go, go talk to Daniela or like you know, like. I mean, people have like ran up and like left things with you, you know, and be like, here, can you watch this for me, you know, because you're just very trusting. You know, so. Yeah, and I'm also hearing like, you get like, you have like really, God's blessed you with a really high intuition where you, you could just sense things off people and you have like a lot of discernment when it comes to dealing with people. Like if your friend's struggling, they can't hide it from you because you'll keep pounding them until they like will tell you what's up with them. And you're, you are, you're also have that type of heart who will build them up, who will stick by their side and will lift them up. Uh, I'm just hearing like God's like blessed you with like just almost like a prophetic insight into people's life, and you also kind of get feelings of what's going to happen that happens. Is that true? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Once in a while, when it's well, bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, check this out. Like, like with that, that's kind of where God's made your heart, right? And what God wants to do is take that to where it's an intense, where you'll sense good things and bad things, and you'll be like kind of just your heart will discern what's to come your heart will discern what's going on you know that's just like being in his presence being in his peace his spirit that stuff will flow you know thank but, you guys yeah, you're amazing thank yes Father we just pray for your, your fire Lord your, your healing fire your yes, fiery Lord. burning love Lord just saturate my sister right now Lord yes Lord I'll healing Lord Lord, 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 Lord all fire would line up in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Lord, thank you, Father God, for what you're doing right now. Lord. Thank you that your presence is known, Lord, over her life, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Love you, guys, too. Jesus.